For years, the church said that Mary Magdalene was a sinful woman. But what if the opposite was true? The Bible says that she was a devout follower of Jesus, using her wealth to support his ministry. Her devotion didn't end when Christ died, staying by his tomb. Could this amazing act of devotion have made her the most important apostle of all? And if she was so loyal to Jesus, why did the church brand her a sinner? Let's learn the truth about Mary Magdalene. When Mary first met Jesus, she was in great pain. She was suffering from numerous demonic possessions. Desperate for relief, she approached Jesus, who performed her exorcism. Mary was so grateful for Jesus' help that she became one of his most faithful followers. Mary, along with the twelve apostles, traveled from town to town with Jesus, helping him spread his message. But she wasn't just there for moral support. The Bible suggests that she was a wealthy woman who selflessly used her riches to support Jesus. However, things didn't go smoothly. Roman authorities were concerned about Jesus. They worried his message could spark an uprising that they couldn't control. So, they arranged to have him executed. The apostles were heartbroken by the death of their leader and friend. The other disciples feared persecution and chose to flee soon after Jesus died. But not Mary. She stayed mourning at the base of the cross. She remained with his body as he was buried. Each day she walked to his grave to mourn. After three days, though, she was shocked when her tears fell into an empty grave. Before her stood Jesus, alive and well. Mary was one of the first to know about the resurrection and was tasked with telling the other disciples about the miracle that had just occurred. The truth of Mary Magdalene is a heartwarming story of one woman's devotion to Jesus. But the early church didn't see it this way. In 591, Pope Gregory I tried to convince the world that Mary Magdalene was a sinful woman. This lie stuck for years. But why would the church seek to portray her this way? Some claim that this was a simple mix-up, where Pope Gregory confused Mary with the unnamed prostitute who cleaned Jesus' feet with perfume. Others, though, claim there was a darker purpose. They claim the Pope was trying to suppress the influence women had within the church. So he decided to marginalize one of the most important women in the Bible. Thankfully, though, the stain on Mary Magdalene's name is fading with time. Modern Christians are discovering the truth. Mary wasn't a sinner. She was one of the most devoted followers of Jesus.